All right, in this lesson I'm going to show you about <coughs> copying CSS styles, cascading style sheet styles, um, and then using them in another document or um, site that you're creating. So, first of all, let's go to that information page that we created a while back for that poetry site. There it is in the site we created, information page. And what's good about this, let's bring up the panels, is we created a lot of different styles, 1, 2, 6, and 8. And if you remember, they're listed here, 1, 2, 6, and 8. Remember how I showed you you could be on any sort of section of a document and then choose that style so you don't have to recreate the the font, the italics, whatever you modified and changed about that style, you now have in a list. So you can just pick that style. Okay, I want that to be the style 6 instead of, see, like so, instead of style 2, which is what that is. So what's nice is if you created some unique styles, um, you can export them. So, for instance, we have these styles here we go up to our CSS styles panel, hold down shift and make sure they're all selected and now we right click move CSS rules now here we're given a few different options we can move the style sheet move it to the move rules to style sheet or a new style sheet um, I already have one created called Test CSS, or we could browse for one. So it will move the rules into that style sheet. And that's what we're going to do for now. Oh, wait, first let me show you what it would look like if you made a new one. Um, Andre's styles, like so. there and it's done. Or we can move them to an existing sheet, one I already have called test CSS. So if you have more than one we could keep adding to Andre's styles which we just created or this one I have already existing test CSS which is what I just chose. So either way whether you create a new one you keep adding to an existing style sheet they're now exported. So now we're going to exit out of here save the changes to the page as well as the style sheet see this is the code for the style sheet itself you notice style one it shows the font, the font, the fans the font um, the font size, the color, the decoration, anything like that save changes to the CSS sheet, yes and being that we did create two Andre styles and then we had the existing one test CSS we're gonna just hit yes now if we go to um, that last document we created um, I think it was oh no that's the one we just were in yes the nature enthusiast one now we could import that style sheet or attach it is what it really is called we do that here attach style sheet and we can browse so we can import the test one that I already had, already had created or the one created brand new Andre styles let me just grab that one and we're gonna add it as a link <coughs> and the media we're using is screen uh, as in the computer screen and we hit OK. Now you notice down here not only do we have all these headers and footers and pictures we've done in creating this page but now we have Andre Styles here. So if we click on content Uh, for 
some reason, it's not showing like I want it to. So, I'm going to delete that style sheet and add another one in. Attach the test. There we go. <clears throat> test CSS. So that's the one we want. Um, so when we import it or attach it and then we're clicked anywhere, we now have those styles we created on the other page. Style 1, 2, 6, and 8. So let's say we wanted a portion of the paragraph, or let's go down here. Let's say we wanted the copyright 1999 to have be this style, style 8, like so. So those are just imported styles from another sheet. And that's going to be very useful as you create unique styles or common styles used um, for content, for headers and footers. Um, export them and then attach them to a, a current sheet as a link <clears throat> and those styles should show up here and you should be able to and like I said you can rename them too they don't have to be called uh, you know style one two six eight um, and I believe we can do that here also. So we can rename the style from style 1 to something else. Like cool fonts number 4 what I, you know, whatever you want to create it as. So, alright, let's save those changes for fun. Ah, see we, this changed when we imported that style sheet. So I'm going to change this back to what it was, highlight it and change it to style 6. There we go. That looks good. Everything else remained the same. And let's hit F4 to take a look at it. And actually, why don't we save Control S and then look at it in a web page just to make sure we look good. See, that looks pretty good. Remember that little border we put around there early on in these lessons? That looks good. And the indented text looks a little better. We've given it some breathing room on the sides. And obviously there was nothing inserted here yet because um, we just inserted the placeholders where we could add some pictures. All right. That's it for this lesson on importing, well, exporting CSS sheets and then attaching them as links and using them um, as common styles in whatever website you're creating.